and wash it so this water will uh, mm. turn off this anger. So we mm. have ways not to be angry. Subhanallah. Um, now back to the um, different types of, uh, of stresses. You, you mentioned the financial stress, the career stress. There is also the uh, uh, emotional uh, stress. Uh, I mean, in, in the world we, we live in today, um, the materialistic uh, uh, world, unfortunately, we, we live in today, most of the pressures maybe stem from um, worrying about w what's going to happen tomorrow. Uh, uh, you, you find um, uh, the world facing a global economic crisis, prices of food, basic food commodities rising everywhere, a revolution here and there due to uh, uh, social injustices uh, and due to fear of tomorrow. Uh, now, again, how would Muslim believing in, in, in fate, in Allah's fate and Allah's destiny and that nothing will happen in life unless Allah has already, you know, uh, written it and decided that it will happen and nobody can change this. How would Iman in Al-Qada wal Qadar and in Allah's fate and destiny and uh, it's uh, the fact that it's, uh, it's a must, uh, um, how would this help us deal with uh, yes. this type of stress? Yes, exactly. When you don't worry about the results, you just worry about to take the, the reasons to reach your goal. So, for example, if you have a goal to work in this job, okay, so actually you will not worry and it's not uh, demanded from you, it's not expected from you that you must work in this job. Uh, what Allah wants from you is to do everything that makes you reach this goal and don't worry about the results. It's for the destiny, okay? And you feel relieved when you do what the best you can do and you didn't reach your goal, say, Alhamdulillah, I, I did my best. Mm. So this is Allah. you just depend on Allah in the results. Right. This is for the future. But you also don't leave the future f just uh, for destiny and like this, you plan for it. So you plan to do your best in it. So yes, you just yeah. prepare and do yeah. your best. This is always what Allah and Rasulullah is asking us. Do your best, prepare, dua, ask mm. Allah, and then the results, don't worry about it. It's not your responsibility mm. that mm. everything will be achieved. And just learn from your mistakes. If you mm. didn't also achieve your goal, so most will get disappointed. Okay, what to do with this this uh, appointment? Uh, ask yourself what I would learn from this in order to uh, change my way and change my strategy and do my best again and reach my goal once again. It's, it's again how you perceive, as you mentioned in your, your very er yes. earlier words, the perception or the attitude. It's not the incident itself, it's, it's how you perceive it or your attitude or how... So is it here or is it here? Okay, uh, anything you can relate it emotionally and mentally. You think about it and you feel it. So for being uh, uh, fear from the future and being sad about the past, mm -hmm. let's get to the point that what do we want exactly? What do we want to concentrate and focus on? We got to focus on now. Don't worry about the future. So for life, just leave it as if you're going to live for... 1,000 years. So if you're going to fail in this goal today or this month, you still have 1,000 years. So it, it makes you optimistic and uh, it makes you keep trying mm. and it makes you plan. Mm. So when you say for someone, plan for your life for the next 40 years, mm. what he says, who will live? But when it comes to uh, after life, no, uh, you're asking to pray now and concentrate on the, the now and the present mm. in this. Subhanallah, and, and of course also the uh, verse in the Holy Quran um, that says, لِكَيْ لَا تَأْسَوْ عَلَى مَا فَتَكُمْ وَلَا تَفْرَحُوا بِمَا أَتَيْكُمْ Sadaq Allahu Azim also points to the uh, exactly. same uh, uh, direction that you shouldn't look uh, and, and, and be sad for what you have not achieved uh, in the past or be very happy 
or is so excited about what Allah has, ha has granted you. Uh, but again, you have to plan and you have to think of, of now. And you, and you also have to plan uh, for tomorrow without being uh, so happy or excited from what Allah has granted you. Uh, uh, right. Yes, exactly. Uh, not demanding. You right. plan, but this is, it's not a must. It's not a should. Mm. This is where stress comes from. Mm. When I say, I must do this. This must happen. This should happen. No, just uh, take off this word, mm. must, and put another word. Say, I can do it, inshallah. Uh, it's possible to do it. Uh, I want to do it. Not must and should, because must and should makes stress. And Allah says, رَبَّنَا وَلَا تُحَمِّلْنَا مَا لَا تَقْتَلَنَا Allah, don't put uh, loads, mm. don't overload us mm. because we have this ability to mm. uh, handle stress. Subhanallah. Um, uh, and again, a very important point here about Al-Mashi'ah uh, or Allah's uh, will. وَلَا تَقْلَنَا شَيْءٍ إِنِّي فَعَلُونَ ذَلِكَ غَدًا إِلَّا أَنْ يَشَاءَ اللَّهُ Very important point you mentioned, yes, uh, Mr. Uh, Sharif, uh, uh, about the, you know, um, omitting the musts and should, but uh, yes, uh, just and putting Allah's will in, in front, yeah. uh, 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 leading, uh, uh, leading uh, the way, and that definitely would help in uh, in relieving yes. uh, stress. Um, Mr. Sharif and dear brothers and sisters, allow us to take a short break. Come back and continue our discussion here on family issues. Please stay with us. Salam alaikum. signs knowledge lost the end will be lifted the moon split and the moon has been split in two halves adultery widespread that adultery will be something that is common amongst people the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam no more time that rasulullah died that incident was minor signs of the day of resurrection Nevertheless, all the prophesied minor signs will certainly herald the onset of the Qiyamah. Join Sayyid Rahe in the minor signs of Qiyamah every Saturday at 4 p.m. and repeat telecast at 2.30 a.m. UK on Peace TV. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Uh, thanks for staying with us and welcome back. Uh, Mr. Sharif, allow me to go back to the, the types of, of stress if you will, uh, uh, the emotional type. We, we, we want to focus on, uh, on this because, uh, especially within the family, because um, I believe it's, uh, it is of great concern to most uh, families. Yes, uh, so uh, let's say first what are the, the types, what stress uh, affects us. So it affects us physically, our body and mentally, our mind and emotionally. Those are the three things that it, it affects. Uh, so we said that diseases, when it affects us physically and mentally, we have headache and we can concentrate, we can focus, we forget things mm. because of this stress. And emotionally, actually, uh, there are four major emotions, which are anger, fear, sadness, and guilt. Mm. So uh, I might face a situation and I feel uh, fear, fear mm. from it, okay? So it's okay, uh, give myself permission to feel this. And this is a, a way of thinking about the, the emotion. I say it's just an emotion, okay? And this emotion comes uh, because it gives us a signal that in this situation, there is uh, something I have uh, to do about. There is something I have to take an action about. So I might uh, fight or, you know, uh, do something take an action fight or flight just leave it and okay or freeze or just uh, it tells me what are the learnings from this situation mm -hmm. 
okay so if there there is a learning i take this learning and leave the emotion mm -hmm. thank you and okay and if there is no learning so there's no uh, logic in carrying this emotion so I just a and usually there is not uh, i assume one optimum um way of dealing with it right yes. fight or or flight or or, or freeze of that course. would depend on the character on the situation and on the history yes exactly the funny point is that someone maybe at work he got really uh, carried a lot of stress at work so when he comes at home maybe he say uh, assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam and you also saying alaikum salam <laughs> it's a simple thing so yeah. you, you don't as you said you don't take a situation as it is uh, separately from my whole life mm. so if he's relaxed and he's coming from his work and he's happy and he's loving his job and so he will come at home and he's happy to see his wife and his children so that of course will support them okay they can do anything and they can do whatever he's relaxed he can as long as you are relaxed you're in control we'll get to the relaxation uh, techniques uh, yeah. mr sharif but allow me to to say in the same point and the uh, phases of emotions uh, you said the four major uh, uh, emotions anger fear sadness and, and guilt you started by talking about fear we, we talked earlier about anger uh, yes. I want to stay with fear it, it happens that uh, uh, the father or the mother or the kids might have something uh, or an incident might occur that would make one of them fearful uh, mm -hmm. and you mentioned uh, how to deal with fear whether with fight or flight or, or freeze what would be the advice uh, to uh, to the other parties concerned in dealing with a party who is suffering from uh, uh, this uh, bad emotion uh, at the moment? For instance, I know that my child is fearing something, or my wife is fearing something, or that my husband is uh, is in a state of fear. Mm -hmm. What do we do, the other parties, w to to help the the party in concern? Okay, so uh, first we ask ourselves uh, what he's afraid from, okay, and uh, is there any uh, thing I can uh, relate to myself? Uh, is it me who uh, exported this fear to him because actually the, the parents uh, are always afraid that their children uh, got uh, damaged or something or got hurt and they, they fear about them. So. Um, Maybe they exported this fear and they uh, transferred this fear to, to him and they learned their children fear actually and the, the negative energy went to them. So uh, from the beginning to uh, stop the root cause of the problem is that the parents are calm and they, they don't have a lot of fear okay? and they don't uh, make him feel this. Okay? And then we're going to ask him questions so that he stopped what he's fearing from okay like for example uh, what do you think about this fear okay and he can actually if he's a kid he can uh, play with this okay he can see what's where in your body this fear and uh, what are you, you're going to do about it so when you ask a question to do about it to do something to take an action and you don't keep asking yourself why I have this and keep this and I'm afraid of this. And just deal with it and do something about it. All right. Uh, usually, when it is better to, to resort to, to the fight uh, or to the flight or to the freeze in, mm -hmm. uh, in dealing with, with fear? Mm -hmm. Okay. This is a mechanism that it's, uh, Allah created it in our body. So it's just uh, an emotion. It's important. And we need this emotion, fear. Okay. But when you tell someone to get rid of fear, actually he can get rid of fear. There is part of fear which is important, mm. which help us to survive, to mm. live. But mm. we don't this part which is unlogic. Mm. So uh, how to make it logic mm. to ask this uh, emotion or why this emotion came? What would I learn from this? If mm. there is a learning, I take the learning. If there is not, so I will know that this emotion just 
and electricity or chemicals in my body, just an emotion. Just Very just, clear. I, I let go, let come. It's okay. Give myself permission. Beautiful. Uh, wh what about sadness? Uh, what are the best ways to uh, to deal with uh, with sadness? Um, again, uh, of course, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, uh, a lot of verses in the Holy Quran assures Muslims and assures those who have real uh, iman that they shouldn't be sad. Uh, but sometimes uh, life is so difficult or harsh in some cases and on, on some people that uh, uh, you also need tricks uh, to deal with it uh, alongside, of course, um, uh, being attached to, to the religion, while, of course, affirming that if you are really attached to, to your uh, religion, then you will probably s succeed on yes, your own right. via this. But because not all of us are, you know, so pious or so uh, good people, uh, so w we need tricks. Okay, uh, so as you said, uh, Rasulullah when yes, his son uh, died, he said, oh, Ibrahim la So it's okay to feel this uh, sadness. Just uh, I don't say to myself, I shouldn't be sad. It's okay to be sad. I give yourself permission to be sad, but don't stay there uh, for a long time, okay? Because life actually is ups and downs. So uh, most, uh, try most of the time to be in this good mood, in, in this positive mood. <laughs> yes, exactly. If, if the, the life, uh, the, the whole time I'm happy, there's no one is, is happy the whole time. The whole time you're just in action. So, and when sadness comes, we know that there is happiness. Uh, there is a saying that says, uh, without dark, we wouldn't know light. Very true. So we know that it's something. And actually, if life, we're always happy and mm. we're always enjoying and mm. life is heaven. Mm. So why would we uh, miss Al-Jannah? And right. uh, so it's okay to, to feel this and suffer in a little bit in life just to want Al-Jannah, want after life, the happy life. But it's okay to deal with how to deal with sadness. It's general ideas again. Uh, I don't want to live my life uh, dealing with problems mm. and dealing with troubling emotions. Uh, I want to live my life, I want to seek happiness mm. instead of away from sadness and mm. away from fear. And mm. when you are afraid from something, it happens. Mm. Because most of the time, the ideas in my mind, it's, I don't want to be sad. I don't want to be uh, fearful. I don't want to. So what are the words in this talking? It's sad and fear. Mm. So the unconscious mind don't really perceive the negation. So if I, I'm telling you now, do not think about a red elephant. Mm. Um, <laughs> don't, don't think about his ears. Don't think right. about his legs. No, no, don't think about it. It will just come. So if someone also, I don't want to be a loser, I'm not, I'm not a loser, and he's thinking that he's thinking positively, mm -hmm. I, I, I'm not a loser. Right. It just uh, triggered the word. And when you trigger the word, it triggers all the, the emotions. Mm -hmm. So it's okay, leave this. Mm -hmm. It's okay that it happens. Let come, uh, let go, whatever. Just an emotion, just an innocent signal in you. But I'm seeking happiness. I'm seeking uh the future i'm seeking uh i'm brave uh, i'm calmness. a champion exactly I'm courageous Courage. i'm smart yeah. i'm exactly. a hard worker exactly uh, this positive uh, thinking is very and, and when you keep saying it uh, you know saying is believing uh, as, as the saying After also repetition, also yes. goes and uh, i believe that if you uh, especially w w to children if you keep telling them you're yeah. a champion you're yes. smart you're uh, um, good you're the best then this you know, uh, grows up with them, doesn't it? Uh, yes, exactly. And uh, uh, when this situation... Even it's not necessarily true, because, of course, not everybody's the best and not everybody's the bravest or the, or the most courageous. Yes, but, exactly. But as much as you can, uh, when you say to your child, don't cry and don't be fearful, don't mm. be... You make him uh, think about it and mm. focus on it and concentrate. Try as much as possible. Do not mention negative words, even right. it's in an order. Uh, uh, beautifully said, uh, uh, Mr. Sharif. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have. We do thank you very much, dear brothers and sisters, for watching Family 
issues we have to end it here. We thank on behalf of you very much, thank Mr. You. Sharif Gamil. Uh, uh, Mr. Sharif Gamil, a human development uh, uh, specialist. So I have a friend who's uh, Sharif Gamil. So that's yeah, right. Okay. <laughs> Mr. Sharif Gamil, a human development uh, specialist. Um, Jazakumullah khair. Thank you for thank being you. with us. And we hope to see you, you again well. on family thank issues. You. Um, and thank you, dear brothers and sisters, for watching us. Until we meet again, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. You were never alone. You were never alone. Through sorrow and through grief, through happiness and peace, you were never alone. So now, as you long for your past, Prepare for your future, but knowing nothing's gonna last. You see, this life is but a road, a straight and narrow path to our final abode. <laughs>
Learn a series of beautiful Islamic techniques to help our children get the best in this world and the best in the hereafter. In 26 Ways to Be a Good Muslim Parent Every Friday at 6 p.m. and repeat telecast at 5.30 a.m. UK on Peace TV. for humanity. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters. Welcome back. And this is your host, Gabriel Romania. We are watching Defense Against Disaster, where we are teaching you how to defend your faith against the attacks of people who want to misguide you, people who want to cause confusion, people who want to cause confusion in your house, in your community, in the ummah. And we are, we are targeted. We are in the forefront of this you know, attack. And you'll find people, sadly, now getting confused. Muslims are slowly, slowly saying, well, you know, this doesn't make sense, really, or that doesn't make sense. I don't understand. I don't agree with this interpretation. I don't agree with this hadith, this ayah. Let me, uh, you know, I don't know. 